Have you ever struggled to find ways to monetize AI in your business? In this video, I will show you six strategies to create new revenue streams in any industry. Hi, I'm Calvin Fernandez, co-founder and CEO of Neil AI, and welcome to another AI show. Here, I will show you how to create additional revenue streams for your company using artificial intelligence. The most classical way to do it is by doing some internal optimization of your current tasks. So, monetizing AI internally. What do I mean by internal optimization? Basically, you can either minimize the resources that you need to perform your current tasks, or you can increase the outcomes of your current activities, okay? So, either minimizing resources or maximizing outcomes. What do I mean by this? For example, let's start with minimizing resources. For example, let's say that you are a manufacturing company and you have some defects okay, on your products. So every time you, this happens, you incur in some waves of materials. So AI can help you by detecting these errors early on so you can stop your process, fix your issue, avoid wasting these materials and moving on with a higher quality product. So in this case, we are minimizing the resources required for final production. Or for example, let's say, again, with factories, predictive maintenance. So I can, how can an AI tell me which machines will fail so I can preventively fix them and minimize downtime, okay? Or for example, optimizing energy consumption of my plant. All of these are cases where I'm minimizing resources so I get the same type of outputs with less resources, okay? The other way is maximizing outcomes. What do I mean by maximizing outcomes? For example, let's say you have a sales funnel and then you want to increase your conversion rate. So you want to generate more, uh, more paying customers out of your current leads. Or for example, let's say you want to upsell your customers. So you want to build a recommender system that for each one of your customers provides the most likely product they will buy next. Okay, so this in this case is upselling. Or if you are in the healthcare industry, for example, you want to save more lives. So you want to detect certain type of disease with a higher accuracy there than without this AI. So AI can support you in all of these activities. These are all internal ways of monetizing AI. What is the main problem with internal optimization? It is that it only works if, if you are large enough, okay? Otherwise, you will break even only in the large, in the, in the long term, because if you are not very large, your, your processes do not have a, lot of, a, a large amount of outcomes or do not consume a, lot of, consume a lot of resources. So any minor margin you gain on top of that won't be enough to compensate for, for the large uh, investment you will do or for, for the investment you will do entering into, into AI. So whenever a client arrives to us and say, oh, Kelvin, you know, AI is so sexy, I want to have it on my business, I want to transform my industry with AI, and I see they are small, I always tell them, you know, maybe the time for break-even, the time when, when this will start paying out, is too far away for you, for you, I guess. So let's figure out some more creative ways to monetize AI in the meantime, okay? So if you are a global company, it's okay. If you are a large corporation, internal optimization most likely will be enough. It doesn't mean you won't need to, you, don't, you won't want to go with other strategies I will show you now. But if you are a small, a, small, a small company, you need to become more creative. And here I will show you four other strategies so you can actually get into AI with minimum risk. By the way, in the description, you have a PDF with some insights from each one of these strategies that we have. So you have, you have three insights for each strategy. So you monetize AI in the safest possible way, okay? So let's go for the other alternative. So if internal is too, you are too small, then let's go external, right? Let's open up the way I monetize AI, not generating internal optimization, but by creating additional sources of revenue out of my, my existing business. Okay, so the easiest way to go with external uh, monetization is by selling commodities. So what are commodities? Commodities basically are raw products, okay, raw materials. What is a raw material in AI? It's basically data, okay? This is the simplest raw material that you will need in AI. Any AI model is hunger for data, is, is, you know, they want data, they are so greedy for getting more data. They need a lot of data to operate. So as a company, you have a lot of data. It doesn't matter if you are you know, a very technology-oriented company or if you are a traditional company, you will have some data. And here, you know, maybe the easiest way you can think about data and it's the most sensitive one is about selling customer data. Of course, this is super sensitive and there is a lot of regulation around data protection. And even without that regulation, you will you can compromise your, your brand perception by selling your customer data. So I don't advise you to go there unless you can aggregate it in some way that it doesn't compromise sensitive information. But you have a lot of other data that you can sell regarding your current operations, regarding the market 
know-how you have regarding the seasonality or, or demand on supply, etc. So all of these are, is data that you are collecting and other people can use. The main challenge with selling data, well, the, actually there are two challenges. One is, are you selling trade information, you know, trade secrets uh, that you don't want to sell to a competitor? If you are, maybe you need to understand what data you can sell and what data you cannot, so you don't lose your competitive advantage. The other big uh, concern when selling data is how to price it, okay? Because, for example, what is the value of this video? This video is data, right? It's information. I can, I can tell you, you know, this is my hourly rate, so if this video lasts for 10 minutes, yes, then the value of this video is this much. But I think it doesn't make much sense, right? Because the value of data is actually the value of the person that receives that, that data. So how much will you do with this information? If you take this video and start monetizing AI and make a billion dollars, then this video worth, is worth a lot, okay? But if you take this video and you do nothing, then this video is not worth a penny, okay? So the value of data is tricky to define because it depends on the recipient of that data, okay? But these are the two challenges you need to, to understand. First, the privacy, brand awareness, perception, trade secrets, so more regulatory and what you are disclosing. And then the other one is your pricing strategy. So let's move to the second type of commodity, which is also kind of data, but not exactly, which is selling human expertise, okay? And this is, I think, a very creative way of monetizing AI, especially if you are not a technology-oriented company, which is, you know, these algorithms are not only uh, greedy for getting a lot of data, but also human supervision, human expertise, okay? They need this kind of expertise to improve. So I guess, let's say you are, you are a hospital, for example. If you are a hospital, most likely you have, let's say, a hundred doctors out there with a 20% of their time that is not booked to any, by any patient. So they are just waiting there for the next patient. So you, but they have this all, and you know, doctors are super expensive, right? They have a, a high salary and you are just paying them for this time without getting anything in return. So you basically can partner up with an AI company that is building algorithms in your industry. And you can tell them, hey, you know, I have all of this human power to feed your, algori your, your algorithms and to provide know-how. So let's partner up and you know have some revenue strategy based on either on time or on equity, you have to decide that. But your human expertise, your know-how in the industry is one of the most valuable assets that you may have for any other startup, for any other company building an AI product in your industry. So that's a key advantage you may have now and you don't know it and you don't have to be a technology company to do this. You just need to have some human capabilities, human skills in there. So the third type of commodity, and I think this is the most common one that you will see out there, people monetizing AI, is by selling predictions, okay? So this internal optimization I talk about typically relies on some form of prediction. So giving you some additional information so you can make better decisions to optimize the end result. What about selling these predictions to other companies so they can also make better decisions? For example, the prediction of whether or not a product is damaged, the prediction of what is the energy cost so they can also optimize their the energy consumption or the prediction of whether a patient has a certain disease or not. So all of these are predictions. You can sell them. So if you are building the, if you are building them internally and you can sell them to other, why not scaling up out of your current scope, out of your current reach as, a, as, a, as an SME, right? So let's just finish with uh, the last version that you can use to monetize AI, which is another external way. And I think this is the like, the cherry on top of the cake, okay? You need to, so you need to have at least this vision, which is going full cycle and selling AI products, okay? Or services. What do I mean? So commodities are just raw materials. They are not an actual product that you can feel. They are just something that other people will use in a, in a, in a given way. Products as an ended experience, as a finished experience, for example, instead of telling you what is the price of your energy, I have a controller of your plant so you can efficiently, you know, just plug and play and your plan become, lowers the energy consumption. Or for example, I have a CRM tool that will convert your leads and will, will not only give you the right product for each client, but it will also send the campaigns, it will also send the emails. So ending up the product sometimes is relatively easy because you already did the tricky part by working on the AI. And you can just, you know, extend a bit, transforming these predictions into an actual product, into an actual service by finishing the decision part, the contacting part, and then you will be, that will be it, right? So you will have an end of the product. The most tricky part with this is that you will have to become a technology-oriented company. You will have to become a digital company to serve these kind of products. 
in general. So if you are a traditional company, maybe you know you don't have still the mindset or the culture to go this way. So this is something to, to think about it. If you are in this situation, maybe start with the other ways with selling commodities. That would be a good, a good start for me. So if you like this video, remember you can like, subscribe, and activate the notifications. Remember that you have some bonus content, a PDF with some insights from each one of these strategies. Tell me in the comments where are your ways to monetize AI and we will give you my feedback. Hope to see you soon. Bye bye.